The journey from Canyon Village to Madison Junction is as close to the heart of Yellowstone as any road affords. Following along the northern edge of the Yellowstone caldera, the road leads right to the foot of a thermal epicenter. Situated as it is on several fault lines, the Norris Geyser Basin is a hotbed of thermal activity, so to speak. Many people consider this the premier location for observing the intriguing phenomenon that ensues when lava lies so close to the Earth's surface. Of all the thermal locations within Yellowstone, Norris Geyser Basin stands as the premier venue to take in the tapestry of colors contained in these pools. Serving as a key information center for Norris's many attractions, the Norris Museum is a beneficial introduction to your explorations. Named for General John Gibbon, one of the park's early explorers, the Gibbon River is an enticing diversion. Delivering an abundance of fly fishing opportunities below Gibbon Falls, it also offers young anglers the chance to try a variety of angling methods within the park's guidelines. When the volcano that encompassed much of Yellowstone completed its landscape altering work, a massive depression was left behind. Today, the Yellowstone caldera is a significant element to the Yellowstone ecosystem. As the dividing line between the upper and lower loops of Yellowstone's motorways, this stretch of roadway is not satisfied with the utilitarian role. Instead, as with much of the park, it exceeds expectations at every turn.